Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my mule deer guide. We're going to be running over Poggers Point and uh, Timber Gold Trails today, mainly just looking at where to go and the routes to take to find them, not specifically how to actually hunt them, um, because it seems to be a lot of people have issues actually kind of finding good hunting routes and where to go and looking for mule deer. Um, we also have a competition going over on um, a Discord at the moment, it runs for a month, where you can win yourself real physical merch prizes. Um, so join the Discord, link in the description, uh, and then you'll find your way to the classic competition as well. But not surprisingly, it's about mule deer. Uh, the, it's the combination of your two uh, highest scoring mule deer uh, you can win yourself some prize for paying out to third spot and also there's a little bit of a bonus if you uh, manage to shoot the biggest non-typical so uh, let's get into it alrighty so uh, here we are on uh, the Timbergold Trails map you might know it I have a pretty basic map actually a lot of people have quite a flash Timbergold Trails I really like to walk on this and uh, and kind of you know walk uh, spot and stalk it um, so let's go over some mule deer areas. You guys might have some more too. This is purely what works for me. Works for me, has worked for me quite well actually a lot. So uh, I, I basically have a tent down in here and I will fast travel down uh, to here. Uh, now there's two ways you can do this, which is kind of a little bit annoying and tricky. Uh, is there's, it's honestly 50-50, it doesn't matter. But basically you're gonna walk down through here to where this tower is, this way here is the first part. The other thing you can do is actually walk to the river, and like I say, both are actually really good down here. Um, there are quite a lot of mule deer up actually over here as well, um, so if you want to do a little bit more stalking in there, uh, it's 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 definitely a good place to go. The only thing about it is a little bit thicker, uh, and you have to go a bit slower. So it's if you don't have much time, I don't recommend uh, heading into here. But you know that's what it is. Um, let's clear this one again. So after you've uh, you know you come up either the river to this tower or oh, oh, I've got a tree stand here. But if you're doing the river run, just keep going up and and just follow your gut instinct uh, as to which side of the river to stay on. I usually try and stay on the left hand side to be honest with you because more of the mule deer come out of these. Uh, wow, well, yeah, again it's 50 50 right. There's a lot of mule deer here. Some grizzly bear and stuff like that too. A few wolves. Um, and then if you're uh, if you've come to this tower basically you can cut down onto the river you can go I know this sounds you know like no duh, uh, or you can go around this way make sure you check this pond out okay so on the way over here just have a little dip you should be able to see and, and a glass and then pop back up onto there a really good mule deer uh, yeah all in this spot here as well um, I'm going to uh, flash you over now to uh, let me just clear this one as well I got a, a leaderboard, uh, I think it finished second on the leaderboard that year, a leaderboard uh, mule deer right uh, on, I'm pretty sure it's this location here. So um, yeah, go and have a look at this big boy, but uh, I'm just proving to you that, that you know, it's a great spot down here. pretty big and I'll never I never forget those antlers coming over the uh, or seeing those antlers on that on that little ridge line to start with huge uh, when you when you see a big uh, animal in classic you know about it all right so where do we get to up to um, now once you get up to uh, this crossroad here I find actually it's better to go uh, left and kind of just zigzag your way up here. I don't generally go too far up this river. You guys might do, but I probably cut it off about here, to be honest. Uh, most of the mule deer seem to be back down this way, uh, you know, 
down this down, down from this line back there could be more more mule up there i just haven't had a lot of luck with it so um I, that's about as far up as i go but there are a lot of mule deer in, in around here too and up in this part here there's some good good spots up in here too down this road um, they do go up into the hill here as well so again if you want to do a bit more stalking i'd go up in here but again it gets a little bit slower right so the whole point of this sort of run here is that you got you know open sight lines it's easy to see the deer uh, is also good cover if you're using the uh, the 3d fall camo uh, the forest camo there's plenty of places to hide and stuff like that too or even bnc will work bnc camo um <laughs> Just looked at it now it looks like a five-year-old's drawing the other place that's really good if you don't really like uh stalking too, too much and this is a, a, a an old mate dennis who's players i don't know if he's watching this video but this was his tree stand up here um and uh, there's a bridge that comes across so you can walk across basically if you're coming this way you know if you're coming down this way come across the bridge and then just look to your right a little bit and there's a really nice big tree there just sit here and call uh the, the mule deer come in from like right up in this hill here remember i was saying there's lots of mule deer over this side um so yeah that's that's probably the the best mule deer spots i can think of there are again start from this lodge up here let me clear here start this lodge here uh and then move down around this way lots of mule deer and in, in here as well uh it's it's basically this side is tricky to hunt trickier to hunt i should say than the rest of the map and it basically like you know controls the population for the you know the rest of it so definitely worth a look in there but you'll see that like time wise spent in here i think you know the more times you run through the river and through these open spots is probably uh more worth your while so yeah that's basically uh that's that's basically the uh you know timical trails map for mule deer let me just have a quick thing to make sure i haven't lost anything uh they yeah i mean it's usually elk over here so there's not too many mule deer but i ha i have shot them here actually but again it's not very common i'm just you know if you play classic long enough you'll know there's always exceptions to the rules especially with spawn areas and stuff like that this is my basic you know if you just want to pick up and have the best chance of finding animals the easiest chance of finding animals take these steps so let's quickly have a recap tent down here if you don't have a tent i guess you could drive a jeep down here or run but again tents and classic you got to do it. it it just saves a lot of time first run up the river you know just go up to there or, or up this way and then the one i i mean like i say either one of these you can't go wrong really uh just straight up like this or you know if you get to this tower feel free to drip down drop down treat it like a, a set of train tracks man just follow your nose up through this whole area here and you should be good make sure you glass the the lakes uh as well there's often mule deer up in there they sometimes run up uh, underneath this hill as well like i was saying okay you know what just take it away this whole part is exactly what you want okay it's exactly what you want so yeah <laughs> um yeah cool so let's go and uh head over to uh to poggers now and uh or loggers point poggers point and uh yeah well um i'll run you through some of, of the places there it's changed a lot since i started the game uh i don't know if any of you guys agree to but it seems more whitetail heavy now than it did mule deer and mule deer is quite hard like it, that's the other thing if you only pick one map i'd definitely pick this one over uh loggers but loggers is good fun so Alrighty, righty let's head over to loggers hey ho well, let's go we're into uh, poggers now so uh let's have a quick little look again trying to keep these shorter for you guys nobody likes a long-winded video but here we have the lovely poggers point uh map mule deer runs uh my favoriteest of all time and this is uh, definitely credit to who cares if you guys want to know how to hunt mule deer get in there and type uh, let's hunt mule deer and who cares the channel come up and he'll give you some more suggestions like this too but he'll, he'll kind of run into that actually how you uh, hunt them as well so start up at this lodge here uh run you can basically run actually out of the lodge to get your first call uh and then you, you want to come up through here over the top of this hill down here uh there's often mule deer in this quick like this this little part here uh they are they are in here too sometimes uh there's pigs too but then head up to where this tower is 
often mule deer uh, in this little clearing here this is a really good uh, uh, spot for mule deer and, and then basically if you haven't found anything in this part I'd probably try and do like a loop just a quick loop like you can probably start uh, running a little bit back around because they will be there somewhere um, so yeah the other place uh, for mule deer is basically actually I know this is going to sound a bit uh, you know kind of well again no duh but uh, there's not really honestly with you a centralized point because it's such like just big open roaming fields I find this er oh, this area down here I find this area here uh, to be the most productive for me for mule deer um, I started this tent here and uh, we'll sit up in a tree stand or whatever and, and just sort of call in um, down here seems to be more whitetail uh, and then again you know like I just cruise basically this whole uh, west coast uh, up, up around here as well and yeah that's because loggers is so open that's basically they're all, they're all is you know that's all there is to it be checking the tracks follow the tracks um, and um, yeah best of luck to you like again this one is not as uh, as refined as timber gold trails just because to me the maps changed quite a lot there's a lot more whitetail on it for me anyway than they used, they used to be it used to be a bit more mule heavy um, so yeah those those are my yeah like I said there's only really let's say three three sort of areas to look at this one here is by far the best I think run on uh, on, on loggers for just pure mule this area here again you know go check it out um, again it seems to be more white tail kind of down on the tip but you're welcome to go and give it a try and then uh, failing that have a run kind of uh, let me get the drawer around here sort of round like this um, you know maybe uh, you can fast travel to the campsite there run up through there and, and have a check this map you can kind of run a little bit on to be honest not not like white heart uh, not uh, sorry not like a uh, white rhyme ridge but uh, you, you, because it's so open if you get the idea of it all and like you know if you're running and you spook something don't worry about it just find the tracks and uh, try and try and you know track it down but uh, you know I still have to I'll just say that you know this game is supposed to be enjoyed so just relax and walk but I know some of you guys like to uh, have a bit more of a fast-paced game so yeah just a little, just some, some hints and tips for that too alrighty well uh, yeah, I hope this helps. See you on the Discord. Good luck with the competition. Love you all heaps. Catch you later.